He's very warm-hearted. I help anyone. He's a guy that saves people. Really came through for his friends. I wasn't strong enough to go out there. We're going to surprise Virgil with a standing ovation to celebrate his kindness. The disaster in Dickinson, Texas started under the cover of darkness. No one was prepared. You couldn't see anything. It was bad. You can hear screams. The helicopters was flying over us, but they was going to other areas. We couldn't get no help. As rain submerged, the city, a surprising hero, emerged in a disaster. What a story this is, this 13-year-old. I can't believe it myself. I can't believe it, but he did it. He did it. This was our resident. The water was about this high. Swimmed all the way here to this apartment, upstairs, 102. Then Virgil phoned wrong, and that's when his friend said he needed help. There was water coming in through the door. The water started getting higher. So we went outside to go see if we could see something. We saw VJ swimming around. They say they can't swim. I have to help them. I have air mattress, and he said, I'm going to swim back. I didn't want nothing to happen to him, like everything underwater, so I knew it was snakes, alligators. He went behind this building where his friend called him and brought them back. They was all drying off. Virgil was standing up there, and we heard screams. And Virgil said, I hear someone screaming. And it was this lady over here in the wheelchair. So Virgil came down, swam with the air mattress, burst the window right there, got the lady out, and then his mother thought about a little cute little dog she had and she wanted her dog too, so Virgin put the dog on the air mattress too. After the last person, they bought the air mattress back, it burst, and that was it. You know, I don't think a lot of the kids know that it was him. He didn't go around bragging to people. We didn't even know it. He came into school and continued to be the person he is. Virgil is a shy person. When I go around telling the people the story, he hates it. He don't even like to talk about it. He's shy. He more or less like took charge. And so I thought he was very courageous for that. Everyone here, take a knee. Who knows Virgil? Who knows what he did recently? Mm -hmm. And Hurricane Harvey? Yeah. I do. What did he do? He saved like 17 kids or something like that on an air mattress. I saw it on the news. Mm -hmm. You saw the news? Yes, sir. If someone does something like that, we should probably do something for them, do you think? Yes, sir. The plan today is to celebrate him and give him a standing ovation. He has no idea. He did something that not very many people can do. He went out at 2 o'clock in the morning on an air mattress and saved 17 people. He did a good thing to help people. Everybody just started looking at me, and I just seen cameras all around my face. I feel pretty good. Everybody clapping for me. I feel pretty good. Virgil has something in him that is great to do what he did, the courage. And to me, that's all he needs to make it in this life. We are so proud of you and your act of kindness that we told the producers of the movie Wonder all about you. The film Wonder is about choosing kindness, and that is exactly what you did. It was truly heroic because at that moment, I don't even think that he thought that he was sacrificing his own life to save somebody else. In honor of your act of kindness, they wanted us to present you with a scholarship to help with school. And they're also making a donation to the Harvey Relief efforts in your name. Wow. Way to go. I can't believe it. I'm proud of them. 
for doing that. I look at him as a hero because he saved me. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are, where you come from, you can do great things. You can do great things. BJ, I'm glad that you saved me and my family, and I want to let you know that I love you. Thank you. Switching gears, in the months after Hurricane Harvey, plenty of folks have been recognized for their kindness and their courage during the storm. But one Hitchcock teenager is standing out. He rescued more than a dozen people. Jessica Borg has his story, and Jess, uh, his rescue equipment has certainly gained a lot of attention. Indeed, he used his family's spare air mattress to wade through the floodwaters of his apartment complex. He and his mom are still displaced and living with relatives. He's a soft-spoken teenager being recognized for one frightening night in particular, where his focus and quick thinking saved 17 people. Virgil Smith, like other eighth graders, happy to see relatives this spring break, but Smith isn't like most people. He sacrifices life to go save others. And mom, Lisa Wallace, watched him do it using an air mattress from his home at this Dickinson apartment complex during Hurricane Harvey back on August 26th. And how high were the floodwaters? About eight feet probably, about eight feet. Smith, at just 13 years old, stayed calm, jumping into action to rescue friends, neighbors, strangers stuck in dark, rising waters. Yeah, we can hear cries, screams. Smith, who can swim, grabbed the air mattress around 2 in the morning and for the next four hours walked back and forth, bringing babies, children, and adults to higher ground. One of the 17 people he saved, an elderly woman in a wheelchair and her puppy. We got her, we put her, we got her wheelchair, put on the air mattress and her son in the little dog with the dog cage. For his selfless heroic actions, Smith will now be awarded a Congressional Medal of Honor. He's already received numerous community awards, including one from the Hitchcock Chamber of Commerce. And he's a very shy young man, and that's what makes it even more um, impressive that he would risk his life. Why did you do it? Because I don't like seeing people drown, and I don't like when people die and stuff. Faith and good luck helped guide them that night. After the 17 person he saved, about 15, 20 minutes later, we seen a baby alligator come down the same path that he swam to save people. God is good all the time. Well, Smith is one of five Americans who will receive the 2018 Citizen Honors Award selected by the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. The ceremony will be held March 23rd in Arlington, Virginia. What a cool kid. Does, does he realize the impact of what he did? What was it like to meet him? You know, he's so sweet. He's soft-spoken. He's humble. I think he understands the importance of the award, but not quite as much as his mom, <laughs> as you can imagine, who is beaming with pride. So it'll imagine. be interesting to follow up with them, see them perhaps even at the airport when they return March 24th. And I would love to see that medal and award in person myself. Proud Triple, parents yeah. for sure. <laughs> Trip of a lifetime. Thank you, Jessica. What's up, family? A 13-year-old boy from Dickinson, Texas is being recognized with a prestigious award. What did he do? He helped his family and neighbors to safety during Hurricane Harvey. Using an air mattress, 13-year-old Virgil Smith managed to rescue 17 people who were trapped in their homes by the rising floodwaters. Virgil was one of five recipients chosen by the Congressional Medal of Honor Society to receive the Young Hero Award for his efforts during the devastating storm last year. Virgil and his mother took refuge in a stranger's second floor apartment after the floodwaters came pouring through their unit. Not long after, Virgil said he got a call from his friend asking for help because his family couldn't swim. So Virgil sprang into action, swimming to his apartment to retrieve the mattress and swimming back to rescue his neighbors. I put him, his two sisters, that was one baby and his brother, he told Channel 13. I had my other friend in my right hand here and I set his mom and stepdad on the air mattress. From there, Virgil swam back across the flood water with his friends to where his mom was waiting in the second story apartment. He then would go back to rescue several more of his neighbors, including a wheelchair bound elderly woman. Why does this little dude sound like a superhero? I mean, this sounds like something straight out of a comic book or some type of action movie. 
What bravery. I know grown folks who would not have done that. Imagine being in a two-story apartment with rising floods and you're with your mom and at least for the moment you're safe and you swim from that safety and go and get an air mattress from your apartment to save others. And you grab a couple of people, you grab a few more and then a few more and each time you bring them back to safety and then you go back out and you risk your life all while battling rising flood and water, flood waters, debris, and current. And you're 13 years old. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Man, Virgil, thank you for your service, man. You are a credit to yourself and your family. No more talk.